Let me get that out of the way. Um, so I've got a couple papers picked out. I think this one I'm really loving. And these are these are the pieces I'm going to put into the box. Um, so I just want to dump those out for now. I'm going to rip some of this off because I want to have a ripped edge on it. And I think I'll put this on the top. my print so it'll wrap around down into here but this this paper is going to end up doing double duty I'm gonna put this over top of it so it'll be because I don't have enough of this to cover the wrap this whole box this way so I'm gonna have to wrap uh, add this other paper to make it work does that make sense did I say that right so I kind of plan it out. I love doing this kind of stuff. I love the little intricate. So I'm gonna take my ruler and run right up this side and hopefully I have a nice sharp blade. And this is really hard to do without having your head hanging right over it. So there's that. Okay. So now these guys I can, oh, let me cut him off. I don't need all of that. I'm guesstimating on this cut, which always gets me in trouble. Putting out some matte medium, because that's what I use to put my papers down with. And now let me make sure those are lined up. Then I can wrap this guy. This might be easier if I do this, the back first. And I'm trying to hold these in place so I don't lose that cut, that cut line. And then I, I go right over it with the matte medium. Now remember, you're still gonna have to do your little squeegees. So now, because I made those cuts, I'll be able to So I've got my sides on there. Make sure I got all my little bubbles out. And and you know, there's a lot of ways to do the corners. This is just the way I I kind of like to do it even though I just ripped that one a little bit. And then I can wrap him over wrap him over I actually even like that seam coming down mm -hmm. and wrap him and I end up with a nice clean seam on the side on the corner I don't wrap presents this well thank God for gift bags oh but look how cool this is when I pull this back remember we found this in another oh, yeah, 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 yeah. look at that and it only does it it only does it with this one French dictionary I have. My other old dictionary doesn't do it. I love that. I almost would just do that on the box. <laughs> now I'm hoping I measured that right, 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 okay. So then I'm just gonna do the same thing with this guy.
just gonna wrap these guys around and then I'll cut off the excess. You might have to get your fingers dirty on this one. I, I usually, it's an odd day that I don't have gel medium stuck on my hands. <laughs> and then I go into the grocery store and, I'm, and I don't notice it in time at the checkout and it's like, it looks like my skin is peeling. <laughs> They're not gonna wanna help me. <laughs> find some little thing like I like this crystal in here I, I liked this one just really simple for some reason and I have um, these little gears were from uh, you know when you go into Michaels you can buy like a whole length of charms or something to make jewelry with and that's what these were and they're the perfect little gears however I do this is my little box of gears that I take watches and clocks apart so I can get all the workings out of them. I'm down to very few that actually look cool. Although that's kind of fun. It's a tiny part of a clock. Maybe he needs to go in here. So, and that, it's, it's very much like doing a painting, you guys. It's just how you want to lay it out. I found this really great little kitty cat charm. You can't, you can't see him, look how cute he is. He has to go in here. But I think what I'm gonna do is, once I have them in, I'm gonna put the glass, and I always leave a couple things to put outside on the glass, so they become a little bit dimensional. So he's gonna be pretty simple. Um, I do feel like um, I want to have some kind of a leaf or a flower or something that pertains to the other side. Um, but I don't know what I have. At the, with all this stuff, I don't know what I have as far as a leaf. Oh, 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 oh I got a leaf. <laughs> One little leaf. That'll make me happy. And it's on a wire, so maybe... I'll do something like, just just so I have something to tie in the paper. And, and that's just my own little way of thinking. It's probably not necessary, but I like things to tie in. And now there's a little leaf. I love it how the perfect thing just shows up. Okay, so now we've got that this far. Now, this typically takes a little bit longer. I don't want you guys to, to be looking at it and going, I can't do them that fast. I, I had already figured out the stuff I was going to put in. Um, so cut yourself some slack. I've got my E6000, and the thing I hate the most about it is I never get <laughs> all of it out because it just, it just dries out. Uh, it makes me so mad. So my my suggestion to you is make sure you buy the small tubes. Don't don't buy the big economy tube. I know that's in there, ah. but I'm gonna have to really fight with it to get it out. So he's already got magnets. 
I just make sure that I put the glue where he's gonna where your item is gonna make contact. because these guys have to dry, but I can cut my glass. Oh. So let me... <laughs> <laughs> Get 911 on speed dial. Okay. Okay, the hardest part is getting the measurement just right because it will, you know, you get it cut just right and then a corner is you know, tweaked and it doesn't work. Okay, do you put oil or anything on your cutter? You my do? my cutter, this is my glass cutter. It has a little end that I put oil. I have Okay. glass cutting oil. I okay, I need this three and a quarter wide. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's like six. Ooh, yikes. Six and three eighths. So the tricky thing is marking your glass and cutting it on the right size because the little cutter isn't right on the side. And I'm marking it with a Sharpie, which is a big... Right. I think this is the piece of glass I had. This has a couple chipped corners, but I think I can use it. And I save all my glass from picture frames, and I have a whole drawer full of different glass. I mean, it, it really just scratches the glass. And it does leave a, a kind of a edge, so you gotta be careful. I think I was not, it, it's so tiny, I can't, you can't even see it. It's like a little roller. I, I just kind of crimped that. Oh. And that didn't cut all the way through. Let me see if I can. So I actually have a little pair of gloves that I wear when I'm doing this so that I don't get finger smudges on my piece because it's so frustrating to get it all put together and hold it up and there's a fingerprint on the inside and you have everything glued down and put together. And there's nothing you can do about it. And now I'm gonna add a little voiceover to finish this piece off. I took a little spot of E6000 glue at each corner of my glass to hold it in place. And the iPhone box has a perfect little lip for the glass to sit down in. And then I took uh, some washi tape out of my collection of washi tapes and found one that worked really well with the piece, 
keeping in the soft tone colors and it says hello beautiful on it and I thought that was appropriate for this piece so I just added the washi tape on and after I was done with that I added a few more of the little gears on the glass actually glued them on the outside of the glass to give that uh, a little dimension to the piece and, and I'm calling this piece done. It was really fun to work on and iPhone boxes are the ideal little project to get started on. So if you're wanting to try an assemblage yourself, grab an iPhone box. And I have a few more assemblage videos that I will post down in the description. So have fun with it and enjoy. Oh yeah, and don't forget, Hit the thumbs up on your way out and don't forget to subscribe so you'll be in the know every time I release a new video and you can head back over here and take a look on my channel. I so appreciate you being here. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.